DJ AFK here, I'm back with another edition of Valheim. Today we will take a look at cheating on dedicated servers. Uh, this will be fun. Uh, so far I have not found any information about what can and cannot be done, so I figured we will make a video to explain what you can do on a dedicated server. Now if it is someone else's dedicated server, it is a little bit harder, but it is still possible to do a lot of things. Let's get into it. For this tutorial, let's go ahead and start a new character so that we don't have any contamination, any prior testing. We will start with Test Dummy. Let's go to uh, Destroyer of Worlds here. This is a world that I have previously used a few different types of cheats on. We have landed in our brand new world with our brand new character. For our first trick, let us enable regular cheats. And let's start building a pretty normal stuff. First we need a hammer. Now that we have a hammer, let us build a few items. Let's start with some gear. Let's make a cape and a black metal axe and some iron clothing. Now that we have some gear, uh, let's create a couple items that we would like to take with us. Uh, very useful things like a portal. So if we build a portal, we destroy it, then we pick up its materials, and we learn its recipes. We can also build a few more portals, destroy them, and we can take them with us as parts. Now we seem to have run out of weight already. Not a problem. Let's create some more items that we might need. How about a cauldron that uses tin? Use that. And place an iron gate and pull its iron from it, which will give us the recipes for the iron objects. Since we now have enough recipes, let's go ahead and fill our inventory with wood. Once we have enough stacks of wood laying on the ground, make sure we let our stamina bar get all the way back up, and let's go ahead and pick up all of this wood. Even though we are already carrying too much, it is irregardless. Uh, we have 1481 of 300. We are going to log out and log into our dedicated server. As we log into our dedicated server with our new character, we will get to keep all of our stuff. We now have a new character in our dedicated server that could be someone else's that we can drop all this wood on the ground and pick it up later. We also have a little bit of gear and a weapon. We also get to keep all of the recipes that we have learned while we were in our other server. For our next tricks, we will need to get a hold of the game file from the dedicated server. This is easy if it is yours. If it is not yours, it may uh, require you asking the server operator if you can have a copy of the DB and the FWL files. Let's go ahead and stop the server. Let it save its files. And copy these. 
to your computer. Once you have a copy of these files, let's go ahead to your PC and we will go to the following folder. It is C drive, users, your username, app data, local low, iron gate, Valheim, worlds. The instructions for that will be in the description below. Once here, we will paste the files in and we will relaunch our game. Now, after we have copied the files and we start our test dummy character, we now have a new world that is named the same as the server dedicated that you connected to. Let's go ahead and join this server. Now, this will not work if you just copy the seed. You do actually need the FWL file, but things may change in later updates. If they do, we will revisit then. Now that we are logged in, what we can do is open up our console menu and type in our cheat commands again. And this time, we will hit Explore Map. This will unlock the entire map for us. And let's move to a slightly different location. So in this case, let's go stand on top of these rocks and we will log out. When we start back up with our test dummy character, we will join the dedicated server. Now that we are back on our dedicated server, we are standing on top of this rock, like we were when we logged out of our own copy of it as well as we have the map unlocked. Now what can be done with this is you can now discover where everything is. You can fly around on your own server, find the merchant, and then set a portal to him. Uh, you can fly your character on your own server all the way up north and let's say over here uh, position your character right at the coast and then log back into the dedicated server and that's where you are. Let's try that. Now that we are on our own copy of the server, let's go ahead and enter the cheat codes again. Build us a portal, destroy it, build us another one, and destroy it. And then fly as far as we want. Now that we are a decent distance away, let's go ahead and log out of our copy. Now that we are logged into the dedicated server, we have arrived in our faraway location, which could be anywhere on this map. I would be careful if you are around any structures that have been built, if the ground has been leveled, you could end up falling pretty far or getting stuck in the ground. But now that we are here, we could potentially build a portal with nothing more than a workbench. Let's try that. Now that we have placed down a workbench and we have built our portal on a dedicated server. 
Notice the cheat commands do not work. Debug mode. Uh, if I spell that right. Debug mode does nothing. All sorts of fun and interesting methods can be used, even though there are no direct cheats for uh, dedicated servers or even multiplayer in general. But let me know in the comments if you found this uh, entertaining, as well as anything that you have come up with to work around these systems in place. And until next time, see you in Valheim.